Welcome everybody! Do you want to know how I made this electric scooter with the pieces of an old handheld vacuum cleaner? Follow me! I had an old handheld vacuum cleaner like this, that didn't work anymore. I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. It was probably the battery charger that no longer worked. So when I thought of putting an electric motor in my scooter, I took the motor, the rechargeable batteries and the cables from the broken vacuum cleaner and I thought about recharging the batteries using an old smartphone battery charger. I didn't know if it would work. If it works, the red light comes on. If you're thinking, why is he in the bathroom? Well, I've got wooden floor in the other rooms and I thought this was the safest place in case of an unlikely but possible explosion. Yes guys, it works, it works, I can't believe it. Yes, it is charging. I've been trying to recharge it for 4 days and it does not work. The energy is enough just for the electric motor to work for less than one second and that's it, no way. Now enough. I'm going to change the charger with a more powerful one and let's see if it works. The charger I have in my hand is that of the Ferrari model car which is more powerful. Here we are, I hope I'm not going to break the batteries. Ok, it looks like the charger works and I can see no smoke around, so that's quite good. I'll come back in a few hours. Hey guys, I'm here! The engine works! Very well! I have recharged it only for one minute. Let's move to step 2. So, this is the scooter I would like to be electric. And this is the handheld vacuum cleaner electric motor. My idea I haven't any written project, it's all on my mind, is to stick this lego wheel to the electric motor with glue and take advantage of the friction that this wheel will have on the rear wheel of the scooter, to make it move or at least to keep the scooter at a constant speed after a foot push. It will not have a great autonomy, it is the motor of a handheld vacuum cleaner though, but I hope I can have fun and I want to see if it works. With an electric cable I will connect the switch to the battery and I'm going to put the switch up on the end bar, otherwise it will be quite uncomfortable to switch it on and off. You see, the problem is to stick this little electric motor in order for the little wheel to touch the rear scooter tire. Will I succeed? Would you bet? Many, many minutes later. No. Indeed, one day later. As you can see, I have put the little wheel in touch with the big wheel. I also changed the wheel to a smaller one because I think it can work better. And... Uh... Look at that! It does work! It's a bit noisy, but patience. Very very good. And now I only have to stick the switch to the handlebar. This is the switch. Cables have been cut. I'm going to stick the battery under the base of the scooter using some glue. I want to place it more or less uh, here. So, we have got the electric motor, we have got the brake and we have got the battery. This is the brake. That causes friction on the wheel and reduces speed. Now, the only thing to be done is to connect the switch to this electric cable. The electric cable has two wires, ground and power supply, and my idea is to place the wire along this tube. Wait and see.
Hey guys, it works! I'm so happy. This is the switch, I can put it on and off. The battery is a little bit flat, but the important thing is to have verified that the mechanisms work. Now I have to put some order in these cables and then we'll see. Everything looked like working perfectly, but... Houston, we have a problem. The battery is recharging correctly and that's fine, but we have a problem. The problem with this scooter is that the tires deflate very easily, whether you use it or not. I don't know why, but after a week, flat tires. Losing the air pressure, the small motor wheel no longer adheres to the rear wheel of the scooter and, as you can see, it cannot work like that. My grandfather had inflated the tires for me with an air compressor before starting this crazy job and now I've just tried with this manual pump but the inflation valve is placed in a very strange and uncomfortable place and so I have to go back to my grandpa's house for help to inflate the tires. I went to my grandfather's house and I also took the opportunity to move the handlebar up a little bit. It was too short for my height. Thanks grandpa if you're watching this video. And the scooter was ready for road test. So guys, if you have something in your house that no longer works, think about how you could use it in another way before getting rid of it. Sorry for my English, I think you imagine it's not my mother tongue. Did you like this video? If so, please write it in the comments below. See you!